Bless him, Lord. He's going through a hard time. He's going through a trying time. And he knows the outcome that's going to come out. He says, I'm going to come forth as gold. And I began to look at this gold. I began to look how it was made. And it lines just up to my life. I don't know about you, but it lines up to my Christian walk. And brother, the three processes that you have in gold. You find the first one is extract, uh, examining that gold. They, the miner will go out and he'll find that gold. And he'll see the state that it's that's in. Right. He'll see the position that it's in. He'll see how dirty it is. He'll see how it's stuck in this world. He'll see how it can't help itself. He'll find out everything he needs. Yes, right. this piece of gold. And I believe when I was lost and undone in this world, yeah. all looked down on my life, yeah. and he saw the sinful nature yeah. of God. Yeah. Sure. how dirty I was. Yeah. 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 I was in this world. Yeah. I couldn't help myself. Yeah. I couldn't do anything for myself. Yeah. Yeah. And he began to save me in my life. Yeah. He didn't yeah. see how filthy Come my life was. Bye. 
reflection in that goal. And Amen. here's Peter, right. as he continues to reflect right. on himself in that goal. And that's what God wants to do to us tonight, yeah. this morning. He wants to put us in the fire yeah. and yeah. make a way to get so, us up and make us where we can be used of Him. That way He can shine through us hey. and He can see yeah. Himself in our yeah. hands. Hey. 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 I'm glad that He come by my day and so. one day. He didn't leave me where He found me. He didn't leave me where He found me. That's right. He didn't leave me lost in That's my sin, right. but he came yeah. down to save my soul and That's brought me out right. of this world and gave me a family and gave me a church to work out of and, gave, and called me to preach and save my whole family. Yeah. We have been blessed tonight. So, we have been blessed. Yeah. And I just want to thank God for looking so, down on me one day. He didn't say you're too dirty. He didn't say you're not worthy. That's he didn't right. say that uh, yeah. your flesh is, uh, your sins are too great. He said, I'm going to look past all those things. That's right. I'm going to a soul that needs to be saved. Amen. And he come down one day. That's right. There was, right. Uh, there was no, uh, there's nothing I had to do. There's nothing I could do. Wow. It was all what God done. Right. Come wow. down and back. Yes, it was. Going to the cross and dying for me and you. And I want to thank God for the opportunity. Hey, man. 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 Thank you. 
come by and just brush me and say, oh, you did good, son. Yeah. Uh -huh. They preaching. Uh -huh. They yeah. don't like yeah. it. They don't like yeah. it when you stand up here. Uh -huh. The devil That's don't right. like us young people Jay. standing here. Uh -huh. the, devil, the devil don't like all of us being in the house uh -huh. of God. It's good. Yeah. He'd rather wow. be the bed. Yeah. Maybe come on. Work. Maybe doing something else besides being yeah. in the house of God, bringing praise and glory and honor to the Lord, giving, yeah. Yeah. giving Him what He deserves. Uh -huh. so God will tell us to keep doing it. Keep staying yeah. faithful. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible says he sent that earthquake, and and, and, and uh, he sent the, the, the fire and all yeah. these, these things. But he, he tells me, just stay faithful. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I don't know much more to say other than That's that. Good. I know, I know That's good, bro. That's good. Yeah. He tells me yeah. how to behave. He uh -huh. how to act. Yeah. I know yeah. when he, he tells me to hey. keep preaching or when he tells me not to. Hey, and I feel that I've said all that I need to That's say. That's good. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. Amen. Come on, brother. I'm going to preach on the kind of Christians that we need. Yeah. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost. Sure did, brother. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 yeah, come on. Meaning all that were oppressed to the devil for God was with him. Now that's my text. Yeah. So we'll get here in a minute. Yeah. But uh, think, think with me first of all, what is a Christian? Uh, I've got a threefold definition. First of all, a Christian's a believer. One who right. believes in the Lord Jesus. Yeah. 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 26 and the disciples were called Christians first to Antioch. Yeah. By a yeah. believer, I mean someone who's received Jesus yeah. into their life. Yeah. Uh, but it's also a Christian a follower of the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Somebody yeah. who yeah. reveres Christ yeah. as their Lord. Yeah. 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 Uh, God raised him from the dead. Put you on. As both Lord and Christ. Yeah. 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 Him, yeah. references Him, respects Him, yes. submits to the Lordship yes, of God. Yeah. When God says no, He does it. When God yeah. says do, He yeah. does. Yeah. And yeah. also, yeah. Yeah. a yeah. Christian's a yeah. manifestation of the Lord Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. A, a, a true Christian, now one might be saved, yeah. but you're not really being a true Come Christian. Yes. Manifestation, by that I mean that we reveal Christ in yes. our yes. life. Yes. Yes. We reveal Christ in the sense of this, that the Holy Ghost reproduces Jesus in yep. you and me. Yep. Now, yes, now you that's know. where the, that third aspect of a Christian is what I want to deal with most in, how, in my message, the kind of Christians that we need. Well, and we want to get to Acts 10.38 and make that an application in our life. Peter was preaching the gospel to the uh, Gentiles in the house of Cornelius, the right. Gentiles of man. Yep. And he was preaching the gospel. But I want to take that verse as an application because yeah. it gives a good summary of the Amen. life of Christ. Right. But 2 Corinthians 4 11 says that the life of Jesus can be manifested in our mortal flesh. Sure. Shown forth, displayed, yeah. yeah. revealed right. in uh -huh. our humanity. Yeah. Yep. It's now, one preacher put it this way it's, it's close to the incarnation, okay? Jesus is God manifested in the flesh. Right. That's right. The, yeah. Yeah. the Holy yeah. Ghost lives within oh, us. Yeah. Yeah. God in humanity yeah. again. Yeah. So, yeah. so we need the manifestation of God. St. Corinthians 3.18 says, But we all with open face, uh, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed uh, yes. by into the same image from glory to glory, yes. by the Spirit of the Lord. The glory of God, if you look in Hebrews 1.3, Jesus is called the brightness of His glory. Yes. If you look up in Revelation, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Revelation 22, talks about the city of God. Brother Gibbons, it has the glory of yes. God. Yes. The yes. glory of God is what lights that city. Yes. You know what the Bible says the light of that city is? Yes. Jesus yes. Christ. Yes.
I'm going to preach on the kind of Christians that we need in the aspect of being a manifestation of Jesus, changed into the image of Christ wow. by the Holy Ghost. Wow. So we see in 1638 a fourfold image of Christ that we need today the Holy Ghost to reproduce within us. Acts 10, 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Now, first of all, we need the kind of Christians that we need are those that are available to the Holy Amen. Spirit of God. We see the Lord Jesus, John 3, 34, the Bible says that God given not the Spirit by measure or in a limited portion to us just only a degree or just a little bit. No, God given not the Holy Ghost to Jesus. But he gave Him not in a measure but without measure. Right. Now, Jesus also gave Himself without measure unto right. the Holy Ghost. Right. I got saved. Ephesians 1.13 says that I was sealed by the Holy Spirit in Jesus Christ. Ephesians 6.19 says that our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost within you, which you have of God and you're not your own. God gave me the Holy Ghost without measure. I believe that. God comes in, He comes in in His fullness. He can be up to His fullness. But do I give myself to Him without measure? Do I give myself under certain Him? The no. I don't, I'm not perfect, okay? I don't, but of Christians that are available to the Holy Spirit, available. See how God anointed Jesus. He was available to the Holy yeah, Spirit. Luke 4 was a good illustration of the life of, of the Spirit of God in the life of Christ. Right. We see him there in Luke 4 1 says, And Jesus being full yes. of the Holy Ghost was led yeah. by yeah. the Spirit yeah. in the wilderness. Yeah. And he yeah. goes out there and he faces Satan. Sure. And he's tempted there out in the wilderness. And he comes through victorious, of yes, course. Uh, but then we see as he comes back out of the wilderness, first number 12, uh, says that he returned in the power of the Spirit. Yes, yes, and he yes, goes yes, into the yes, yes, and he turns to Isaiah chapter number 61, uh, and he says, and begin to read it, Luke 4, 18, the Spirit of the yes, Lord is upon yes, me, uh, because we have the yes, chapter, I believe it's that chapter they said about Jesus, this man speaking, this is a paraphrase with authority. Yeah. What a word is this. Uh, the yeah, the uh, Christ manifested the, the power, the presence of the Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, and just as He yeah. did, uh, we need to be available, Christian, to That's the Holy right. Spirit that yeah. we might be filled with Him. Yeah. Be not drunk with wine for it is excited. Uh, but yeah. be filled with Him. Be dominated by Him. Be the Lord's ship. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
because they lied to the Holy Ghost. Right, Ephesians 4.32 says, Grieve not the Spirit of God. That's that, right. that means don't distress Him. Right. Don't bring sadness yeah. to the Holy Ghost. Don't bring sorrow into His, into his heart. Yeah. And in 1 Thessalonians 5.19, Quench not the Spirit. That means don't extinguish Him. Yes, right. Don't do that. He is right. His influence in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Think about a fire. You extinguish the fire. You smother it. You put it out. Right. Don't hold Him back. Don't resist Him. Yeah. Consider the Holy Spirit just like husbands. We consider our wives and things that we do, places we go, yeah. the people we associate with, the things we buy. That's I right. consider my wife. Yes, I think right. about her. Yeah, I consider man. the Holy Ghost. Yeah. He's always with us. Think about it this way. If I say that, or if I go over here to this place, if I associate with him or with her, I'm considering the Spirit. What's the Holy Ghost think? What will that do to God? His right. yeah. Come on, it involves confidence. We're going to be filled. We've got to be confident. That's when, you, when you're cleansed from sin, consecrated, when you're craving and when you're, yeah. when you're uh, considering the Holy Ghost, be confident. God will fill yeah. you. Yeah. Uh-huh. And all things, Matthew 21, yeah. 22, whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believe and you shall receive. Yeah. Jesus yeah. said, ask and you shall receive. Now Luke 10, he, I know this is a little bit different here, but what I'm talking about, we don't have to ask for the Holy Spirit as a child of God. We have the Holy Ghost. Yeah. But Jesus yeah. said Shall not my heavenly, your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask Him? In the book of Acts, we see those, they obeyed the Lord and they had the presence and power of the Spirit of God. Uh, us Christians available to be filled with the Spirit. Then once we're filled, we can be led by Him. Yes, we sir. can walk in Him. That's living daily in the fullness right. of the Holy Ghost. Right. Uh-huh. And then we bear right. His fruit. Right. For the fruit. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. The Spirit right. of the Spirit is right. the character and life of Jesus Amen. reproduced within the believer by the Holy Ghost. That yep. must change into the image of Christ. But secondly, the kind of Christians we need are those uh, that are not only available to the Holy Spirit, but then the next verse, next part of the verse says that Jesus went about doing good. Yeah. He went about doing good. That phrase went about means his travels. Yeah. As he walked, <laughs> he went about doing good. Yeah. 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 Galatians 16, and as we therefore have opportunity, <coughs> let us do good unto all men. Right. Not those that do good to you. That's right, preacher. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. That's right. Pray for me with suspicion. That's good. Yeah. That's right. This is hard, but we got to love your enemies, bless them, right. persecute them. Yeah. Do good unto them. I think that that hates you. Do good in all men. Active Christians that are active yeah. in Christian service. Right. In 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 our. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Active in Christian service, going about doing good, helping hey, others, just like Jesus. But thirdly. We see that the Bible says that he went forth healing. He went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Mark chapter number 5, we learn about a man. We call him the maniac of Gadara. And the Bible says in Mark 5, 5, that he was always, listen to the emphasis in this verse, always night and day in the tombs and in the mountains, crying and cutting himself with stones. Luke 8 tells us that he had devils a long time. Yes, sir. This man wore no clothes. He was driven by the devil, the evil spirits out into the wilderness. Luke 8 says that he abode in in no house, neither abode in any house. He was a captive sinner. He was oppressed of the yeah. devil. That's where every sinner is found by yes. Satan. Yeah. 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 It's just the present tense of a Christian, but the past tense, uh, excuse me, present tense of the sinner, but it's still within his context, the past tense of a Christian. Yeah. But it shows us where the lost man is. Right. It says where in time past you walked according to the course yeah. of this world, yeah. according to the prince yeah. of the power right. of the air, that Satan. Right. Right. Listen now, the spirit. The prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Yes, Every sinner is under the influence, under the control, right. under the driving aspect and, and the moving about of the evil spirit. Yeah, that's right. He's that's the spirit right. that now works. They're bound in sin and bound that's by Satan. That's Proverbs right. 5.21 or no, 5.22 says his own iniquity shall take the wicked himself. And he shall be holding with the cords of his sins. He'll be bound. He'll be chained. He'll be tied up with the cords. The binding agent, whether you think of a rope, chain, or whatever, of his own sins. So Jesus went about healing 
When he healed the people in the gospel accounts, it's a demonstration of God's power over Satan. Brother Giddens, those devils. Yes, sir. Yeah, Brother Ward, those devils that had this poor man bound and was driving him all over the place. He was crying. I mean, screaming. When Jesus came along, Amen. that crying stopped. Uh -huh. All that yeah. devil yeah. 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 stone yeah. yeah. Glory to God. And when they fell to speak, That's right. he worshipped Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. But I believe it was those devils in, in that man worshipping yeah. Jesus. Because yeah. they said, they, they call on Jesus to not torment. I adjure thee that thou torment me not. Yeah. There right. seemed to be one devil that was the chief speaker for all of them, but he had many devils. Right. But they bowed at the feet of Jesus, and Jesus rebuked them, cast them out, but also when Jesus healed people, yeah. it was an illustration of God's power to save the sin. Right. And I believe everybody that Jesus healed was saved, forgiven of their sins. Amen. In some instances, it, it says that. Sometimes it doesn't. But they were always changed. And if it is a Christ, he Amen. is a new creature. Yeah. So... Uh, Thirdly, this aspect about Jesus healing all that were oppressed to the devil. He was healing and saving sinners. We need Christians yeah. that will aid sinners. A-I-D. Yeah. I can't heal them. I can't save them. Uh -huh. I can tell them about one of them. Yeah. 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 So in the gospel accounts, when you see Christ healing, we find everybody that came in contact with Jesus. Then you work with electricity, right? Conduits. That's that channel that brings electricity to wherever it's going. Amen. That those houses, those wires, we need to be like a conduit. Yeah. And we take, we've got God in one hand, and then we take yeah. a sinner in the yeah. other hand. Yeah. And yeah. second, yeah. 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 it's all about the ministry of reconciliation. We speak, we have a ministry of reconciliation. That means we go forth speaking the word of reconciliation, telling people. Second Corinthians 5.29, that we are ambassadors for Christ as yeah. though God, as though God did beseech you yeah. by Amen. us, Amen. that conduit there. Amen. And when Peter and John, they were going up to the temple in Acts, yeah. there was a lame man, and he, he, he asked for some alms, he wanted some money or some help. Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I me. Peter had a hold of God. That's right. Yeah. 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 Jesus, all that it says, for God was with him. <coughs> God was with him. The kind of Christians, Brother Jesse, we need these Christians that are accompanied by God. Yeah. Now, Ephesians 1.13, 1 Corinthians 6.19 tells us that the Holy Ghost is with us. John 14.16, Jesus said, I will pray the Father that he shall give you another comforter, one just like me. Yeah. The Holy Ghost came to do for the believer what Jesus yeah. did for the disciples. Yeah. And he said that he may abide with you forever. The Holy Amen. Ghost never leaves. It's all of God. So that means we have His presence in us. But what about this? Is His presence upon us? Amen. Is the Holy Ghost upon us Amen. and around us? Have you ever been around somebody that when you get in them, in their presence, and I'm not exalting man, but I'm preaching about how we need to have God with us. Amen. When you get around them and you just... You just sense that the Lord's with you. Amen. That's right. Amen. Uh -huh. I, know, I know some men like that. My pastor's one. Brother yes, Sam Adams, sir. Brother, brother. I know some others. Amen. And you can say with them, God is with them. Yeah. What do I mean by that? Their life becomes, I believe what, what the Bible says, for God was with them and the Lord was with Joseph. Their life is a, is a manifestation of the presence of God. Yeah, amen. Just by observing that person, God is saved. Amen. So we need that word with means to be a company. Right. We need God in our company. Yes, I want, I'm with the Lord. He's with me. He's in me, but I want Him around me. Yeah. That yeah. others see. Right. I want Him upon me. That's good. Brother. So yeah. that's what I mean. When God's so Christians that are accompanied by God. Now, in order for that to happen, we've got to be in fellowship with the Lord. First yeah. John chapter number 1, verse 6. If we say that we have fellowship with Him, we lie. And, excuse me, and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Amen. But if we walk in the light, we have fellowship one with another in the blood of Jesus Christ. His Son cleanses us from all sin. Fellowship with God is too bold. It's the companionship of God in life Amen. and then the partnership of God in our labors. Yeah. We need God upon us. That's the kind of Christians we need. Right. God with us. 
God on us, and God around us, and others see Him in our life. Yeah. So I ask us today, I ask myself, I've already asked myself, are we that kind of Christian? Oh, God, we need to I've got anointed Jesus at the Lord, yeah. the Holy Ghost, right. and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed in the world <coughs> now. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have a last life. He that believeth, excuse me, Jesus said, yeah, Mark 16, 16, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Amen. All of sin and come short of the glory of God. Oh, but God hath made him to be sin for us. That's if right. you're here today and you're not saved, uh -huh. I, That's right. 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 I say, come to the Savior. God so loved the world that He gave Jesus. He gave yeah. Him to die for your sins. Yeah. The wages of sin is death. Yeah. Second, yeah. Romans 5.18 says that by the sin of one man, the offense of one judgment, yeah. came upon all yeah. men the condemnation. Okay. So here's the condition we're already in here. First, excuse me, John 3.18, He that believeth not is condemned already. That means guilty already. Yeah. It's all from God already. Uh -huh. John 3.36, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see light, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Amen. All Amen. the end of God's wrath because of our sin. Yeah. Uh, but you're also an object of God's love Amen. because He loves you. Yes, Christ died for our sins. Yeah. Those Amen. wages that our sin brings upon us. Yeah. That judgment of God that's yeah. on our head yeah. is death. Jesus said, John, if you die in your sins, except you believe that I am He, you shall die in your sins. Later or early, he said, if you die in your sins, whither I go, where I'm going, you right. cannot come. That's right. right. Christ died for our sins. Jeez. So we don't have to die in your sins. That's right. Right. He Amen. was spared and he rose again yes. the third day. Right. Now the invitations come. That's the Holy right. Ghost says come. And if you'll come to Jesus and just trust Him That's as right. your sin bearer, right. the one who bore right. your sins, right. the one who became sin for you, that you right. might be forgiven of your sins and be made the righteousness of God, God will save you. Yes, He will. Come to the Savior. Absolutely. Amen. 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 Am